For more than 3,000 years, the Tasmanian tiger roamed the forests and grasslands of Tasmania, hunting its prey and living in harmony with the natural world. But all that changed dramatically when humans arrived on the scene. The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a carnivorous marsupial that was native to the island of Tasmania, which is located south of the Australian mainland. It was the largest carnivorous marsupial of modern times. It sported powerful hind legs able to run the distance, a striped pattern resembling the tiger we all know and love today, jaws able to open 120 degrees, taking down prey larger than itself, and a stiff, long tail. It did as well have several characteristics that resembled those of dogs. For example, it had a long, narrow snout, a relatively short body, and powerful jaws. However, these similarities are largely due to convergent evolution. Despite these similarities, the Tasmanian tiger is not closely related to dogs or any other canids. Cryptozoologists around the world have since debated on its extinction date or even if it was ever truly extinct at all, while others just believe people are seeing modern canines when they report a sighting. Cryptozoology is a field of study that deals with the search for creatures that are either unknown to science or believed to be extinct. The term cryptozoology comes from the Greek word cryptos, meaning hidden, and zoology meaning the study of animals. Cryptozoologists investigate reportings of sightings, tracks, and other evidence of animals that are considered mysterious, elusive, or rare. Some examples include Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. The study of cryptozoology remains controversial, with some researchers dismissing it as a fringe pursuit, while others view it as a valuable and exciting field of study. The last known individual, Thylacine, died in captivity in 1936. The story of the Tasmanian tiger at the zoo is a tragic one. The last known individual of the species was a female who lived at the zoo in Hobart, Tasmania. Contrary to countless articles, the last individual is said to not be named Benjamin. After recent investigation and studies, the story of the last thylacine being named Benjamin was a hoax told by a man who claimed he worked at the zoo but was later discovered to have never even been employed there. The last thylacine, a female, with a name not known to history, had quite the life story. This female thylacine was captured in 1933 in the wild and was transferred to the Hobart Zoo where she was put on display. Despite last chance efforts to breed her with a male thylacine, no offspring were produced and she remained the last known individual of her species. On September 7, 1936, she was found dead in her enclosure, having apparently succumbed to neglect and exposure. The exact cause of her death is unclear, but is believed to have been the result of a combination of factors, including cold weather, lack of proper care, and stress from being kept in captivity. The Tasmanian tiger was no longer. What brought the Tasmanian tiger's demise was mainly due to humans hunting the species. They are hunted for a variety of reasons, including fear, competition for resources, and economic gain. When European settlers first arrived in Tasmania, they brought with them livestock, which the thylacine was known to occasionally prey upon. This led to conflict between the thylacine and farmers, who viewed the species as a threat to their livelihoods. As a result, the government of Tasmania implemented a thylacine bounty program in 1888, which offered financial incentives for the killing of thylacines. It is estimated that thousands of them were killed during this bounty. The bounty ran all the way to 1909. During this period, it is believed that at least 2,184 thylacines were killed, although some estimates place the number closer to 5,000. In addition to being hunted for the perceived threat to livestock, the thylacine was also hunted for sport and entertainment. Thylacines were sometimes captured and put on display in zoos and circuses, and were even used as hunting targets in organized hunts. The thylacine's distinctive appearance and reputation as a fearsome predator also contributed to its demise, as many people believe that the species posed a threat to human safety. This fear perpetrated by sensationalized media reports and stories which often portrayed the thylacine as a ruthless and dangerous predator. Some swear they have seen the Tasmanian tiger after the declaration of its extinction. A group called the Thylacine Awareness Group of Australia has a webpage dedicated to sightings and evidence to prove that the species is still roaming the lands. One park ranger, Hans Narding, who in 1982 told bosses that he stood for several minutes with his flashlight spotted on a thylacine, but to this day the only confirmed photographic evidence is the last female tiger in the zoo. Although there has yet to be a confirmed sighting, there are still specimens of the Tasmanian tiger that exist today. Most of these specimens are preserved in natural history museums where people can still go and see the thylacine in person. De-extinction efforts are in full gear for the species. The first genome of the Tasmanian tiger is complete after using DNA from thylacines that has been preserved in alcohol. Now that they have access to DNA editing technology 
and the first genome of the Tasmanian tiger, the next step is to turn the genome into a living animal. Even if this de-extinction were possible, it would not necessarily mean that the thylacine could be reintroduced into the wild. Habitat loss, competition with other species, and other factors would still need to be addressed before any attempts at reintroduction could be considered. Overall, while the de-extinction of the thiocene remains an intriguing possibility, it is still uncertain whether it will ever become a reality. And if so, when? The extinction of the Tasmanian tiger is a tragic reminder of the impact that humans can have on the natural world. It is a warning of what can happen when we fail to appreciate the value and beauty of the creatures with whom we share this planet. And it is a call to action, a reminder that we have a responsibility to protect and preserve the natural world for future generations. A Tasmanian tiger may be gone, but its legacy lives on, reminding us of what we have lost and what we stand to lose if we do not take action. Let us remember the thylacine and let us work to ensure that its fate is not shared by any other creature on this earth. For now, and likely forever, the Tasmanian tiger, the tragically misunderstood marsupial, is extinct. Check out my other video, The Kwai'o'o, The Reality of the Lost Bird, and consider subscribing to do things the wildlife way.